With the no-fly zones in play, our only hope to prove or disprove the moon landing hoax theory is the very large telescope in Chile and the upcoming extremely large telescope, also in Chile, both of which are capable of resolving objects on the scale of one milliarc second, perfect for resolving Apollo-sized objects on the moon. Astronomer Richard West had stated in 2002 that he plans on using the VLT for just that. Now astronomers hope to kill off the conspiracy theory once and for all by using the very large telescope, the VLT, by far the most powerful telescope in the world, to spot the Apollo lunar landers. Operated by European astronomers in the Chilean Andes, the VLT consists of four mirrors 27 feet across linked by optical fibers. It can see a single human hair at a distance of 10 miles. Trained on the moon, such astonishing resolution should enable it to see the base of one or more of the six lunar modules which NASA insists landed on the moon between 1969 and 1972. Any images of the modules would be the first not to have been taken from space by NASA. Dr. Richard West, an astronomer at the VLT, confirmed that his team was aiming to achieve a high-resolution image of one of the Apollo landing sites. The first attempt to spot the spacecraft will be made using only one of the VLT's four telescope mirrors, which are fitted with special adaptive optics to cancel the distorting effects of the Earth's atmosphere. A trial run of the equipment this summer produced the sharpest image of the moon taken from the Earth, showing details 400 feet across from a distance of 238,000 miles. The VLT team hopes to improve on this, with the aim of detecting clear evidence for the presence of the landers. The base of the lunar modules measured about 10 feet across, but would cast a much longer shadow under ideal conditions. Dr. West said that the challenge pushed the optical abilities of one VLT mirror to its limits. If this attempt failed, the team planned to use the power of all four mirrors. They would most probably be sufficiently sharp to show something at the sites, he said. Dr. West insisted, however, that the decision to examine the landing sites was not driven by the conspiracy theory. We do not question the reality of the landings, he said. It is more for instrument testing purposes. And former AAO astronomer Joss Hawthorne had stated in 2006 that he planned to use the Gemini telescope for the same thing. You need what's called um, adaptive optics. And that's a great idea, you know. I think I'll do that as an experiment. Well, as soon as we get this adaptive optics imager working on Gemini, I'm going to ask if we can actually point it at the moon uh, and see if we can find the module for you. How about that for an experiment? <laughs> Wouldn't that be wild? Although it has recently come to my attention that the smallest object that Gemini can see on the moon is about 25 meters. There are still the VLT and the upcoming ELT, both of which are confirmed beyond a shadow of a doubt to have the perfect resolving capabilities. Here's to hoping.